Hey guys, I'm here bringing you another video. Uh, the enemy team, they could have been in different places. It could have been Zach top, Dino jungle, and then um, Yasuo mid. But yeah, they've flipped around a bit. We all guessed it was Camille support, because that's obvious. Um, but we are playing Belveth. We're going to go crit Belveth. And hilariously, uh, we took the Belveth main away. So that is quite funny. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, a lot of people on the enemy team don't really play their champions, but then kind of the same is true for my team. Obviously, if I swap that to the whole... Oh, no, that is 14.2. So this is this is now only counting um, split two of this year. Um, but yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm going to go Crit. Let's give Crit Belveth a go. So I'm going to go Young Tal first item. To so we're going to go this first item. And I think the reason why this has got decent value on Belveth more than other camps is your E. The fact that your E attacks so quick, you can apply... If they crit, it can apply so much of the bleed. The void now we oh, I've got an Amazon one. delivery in five, five stops. Well, I can't answer that, so it'll be left in the rain. Never do, never do. How big of a main is this person? Minions have spawned. Oh, what? Oh, this, this, this jungler's not played, I think, any. They've played three games on this split. They've played three games on this new split, so, like... I can't tell how many Belveth games and stuff. They Why am I getting a leash? Eh? I'm getting a leash in Modern League in high rating. Oh, well. <laughs> what on earth? Dude, Camille support players, they are just so cheesy. First, well done, Camille, you literally just entered. <laughs> like, genuinely, there is no other way to define what she just did other than inting. I'm going to skip Krug, because to go down there would be such a time sink, so I'm just going to not do it. Like, what? Uh, yeah, I guess she was surprised that I got a leash, maybe? But, like, she had vision. I think that she put a ward down. She knew I was having a leash. And like, what? She was trying to get the red? I've got smite. Some junglers do smite it straight away, but I never do. Oh, they had a ward there. They really wanted to know where I was this game. What the hell? Does that count as a bot gank? Yes. <laughs> I helped kill the enemy support. We don't. But yeah, I've lost some weight recently. Twitch chat is currently talking about weight loss and stuff. I'm back, obviously back to one meal a day. I've kind of said that quite a lot. Um, I, I'm not keeping an eye on like how much I've lost. Like I'm not really weighing myself too much or anything like that. I my goal is I'm never wanting to get as back light as I did like when I got to my peak. But like lightness, it was too too light. Um, I didn't enjoy being that light, but um, that's when I got a bit addicted to the scale, and then I was like addicted to seeing the minus number each day. But I've got a I've got a goal. It's a jumper I bought last year. Um, it's a nice brand. I bought it in a outlet place, so like it's a Hugo Boss jumper, but I did not pay incredible prices um for it so hopefully um my goal is basically i can put it on i can have it on but it's uh a bit snug nice it's actually really good that she got the kill too oh zach's behind so yeah, my goal is to get into that jumper. That's my first kind of goal. Uh, but I will also say it's not just the jumper. My, and again, I do find it weird to say, my niece, uh, which is Queen Pleb's sister's daughter, she is basically my, my niece now. You know? 
Um, she is having what's called a name day. You know, they're not a religious family or anything like Bro, a bot lane. Okay, at least they got it. Um, but yeah, she's having a name day in July. And I have a suit. Um, and I had this suit a while ago. And again, I actually tried on the suit a few days ago. I can have it on, but to be in that suit the whole day would be a bit uncomfortable, if I'm completely honest. It's a bit, a little bit snug. Um, so just to be comfortable in that suit again, I think would be good. So like, that's what, I, if you ever you're wanting to lose some weight, a lot of people like I did the first time round when I lost a lot of weight. I think we get a bit addicted to just pure numbers. Um... Sometimes I'd say be less addicted to numbers and be more like, oh, go, go and buy a t-shirt in a size down and try it on every few weeks. And then when you go, oh, that fits now. Nice. That will give you more of a buzz than probably seeing a number on a scale. I used to do it when I was losing weight, you know, a few years before COVID. Um, I used to call them goal, goal shirts or something, you know. so much damage uh craft sign tier 137 says let's go also life sharing update my offer on a flat was accepted so a buying so buying a place soon hell yeah dude uh big love to the community here well done man congratulations what's a name day it's a re it's a non-religious christening basically in essence I d i've never been to one so i've got no idea i don't think they try to drown the baby though so that's good Right, Camille's top. Yeah, she's over there for um, got all grubbies, but she went there when their jungler wasn't staying there, so that's a bit peculiar. Oh, I just noticed this person's got L9 in their name, so they're probably like some cringy teenager. like a, such a little worm of a player. That's bot I can just feel the Camille's gonna just be stupidly annoying here. Ignited me. She dead? Has Thresh doing anything? Yeah. This Camille is really bad. Does it matter? Probably not. This tail just died solo. Azir is not really getting involved that much, unfortunately, as well. I'll ignore. Damn, did he get that? Wait, what happened? Is they just died in mid? Bro, what are you doing? Okay. This is such a fiesta. What is this game? <laughs> Twitch is now coming for a bit of a cleanup. I don't think he's strong enough to get a, a bunch of them. Alright. 
We still gained. We got two of the grubs, they got one, so it's not terrible, terrible, you know? Right, I need to go back and get my first item soon, which again we can afford very soon. I'm gonna do wolves and then go back just to get my first item because obviously I have a tendency as a jungler, it's one of my weaknesses to not go back at correct times and end up being like behind in items even though I'm ahead technically. Shush, L9 cringy. You're spam pinging me when I've helped you a fair amount and you've got L9 in your name so you lose all respect those that may not know like what is l9 they were a group of awful like i'm even going to say the word like degenerate people who just tried to make eu west awful um they did boosting like they were just awful and they they only lasted like the the, the actual like clan or whatever you want to call it did not last very long at all and then you've got fanboys that were nothing to do with l9 who just think it's cool to have the same tag it's a bit cringy which is obviously usually why it's uh, like young kids who think it's cool. Uh. We're giving up this, are we? Because both our solo laners are top lane for no reason. What? Why are they both top lane? <laughs> Nah, some of them still play. Like, right our IRL was one of them, I think. But for some reason, everybody seems to have forgotten what he used to be like, so... Yeah. I don't have vision. I'm not gonna go into this blindly, I need to know. If, if Fresh doesn't get in any time for vision... Yeah, Anton? enough got ignited as well my team just seem a bit afk this game like, it just seems like none of them are in any urgency to really do anything it's weird also anonymous someone anonymous gifter with a gifted sub don't do an on the moose don't do an on the moose because then i can't say thank you whoever it was thank you but i can't say thank you specifically Oh, we're trying out this build. This is what we're trying to find out. I've never done this build before. We're trying it out. The Jin's five and oh. I recognize that name. I just noticed. I think I've played against him. Buff four. Is she going like burn Diana? Is that a thing? The problem that we've got is Kale's got like negative pressure. Is it? I don't really trust. Like he just seems to not really get involved at the right time of plays. Could have thought that, huh? We not have thought that. Zero had ultimate up and everything, but just didn't use it. And again. Thresh is just kind of sitting bot lane where Camille's getting very involved. So we're always outnumbered in these fights. Woo. Survive. My bot lane is just so not in this game. Legit. They're just not in this game. Twitch has not even got a completed item. Oh, another poopy bot lane. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Probably going to be doing that straight away. We scale well, but we're just, we have no pressure anywhere. 
I don't know, Thresh hasn't been trying, he's always been late to every single play. Even though the Camille's annoying and all that, like she's she's being involved. Thresh is not. No. But this is also quite a thing of modern supports versus old supports. The, the difference between a modern support like Camille and an old support like Thresh. Just night and day difference. Interesting, huh? I just wanted to be a distraction there, just to make them, like, think about swapping around. Woo-wee! Oh! Come on! So close! That was so close. <laughs> Oh, Twitch. He might be dead anyway, the poison. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Yasuo was just bot laid and now the Yasuo is fighting by himself. Hey, did I say hi with two gifted subs? Thank you very much. All right, my team finally did something. Nice. Oh, if I survived that, man. That was so close. That was so close. The thing with this crit build, obviously, like, crit in general is OP right now, but it's probably only going to become strong. Like, what? Infinity Edge? I'll need Infinity Edge. Azir's going top lane. He does have TP, but... Hmm. Beyondry Rush Diana, what the heck? Is that a thing? Diana's behind. Dude, Aziz just asleep! Like, it, it, it's, it's how this game feels. It's like our team are just asleep. Kale's sitting at a tower. Aziz top playing when his Diana moves. It literally just feels one team is actually trying to win versus my team who's just AFK. Like, this sucks. Our laners just don't exist. It's hard to play a game where you're continuously 3v5. It's impossible. Legit impossible with 3v5 in every single fight. What the hell do you. Or what are you supposed to do? What was that even like? What? The hook was going nowhere. Hey. Flash. Just flash straight in. Oh my god. This team. What the heck, bro? Seems so cocky, man. How do they thought they could just do that? Mad to me. This is a weird dynamo. The Andre into Rocket Bell. And now she's probably going like tank. Very odd. Been 
Hmm. Presume they took this. Oh, they didn't. What? Okay, I'm gonna have IE on next base. That's big. Don't get caught for bees. Da -da 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 -da. We just got all. No, just runs away. Never oh, mind. Hey, Thorkin. Oh, oh, oh. Aaron. Yeah, I can feel my damage is starting to get there, by the way. I can feel it. Wait till I've got like a hundred percent crit. They thought they could just be there. It's crazy. Enemy team is very cocky this game. Completely falling apart. An enemy has been slain. They are completely falling apart. Uh, Belvet's ult empowers her, basically just makes her a stronger version of her already. But then, like, you do the big sucky thing that, like, does damage and stuff. I got this in Disney, but apparently I didn't show you guys. I don't know why. Wouldn't be shocked if the enemy team is all like cheesing it in a bush somewhere. They probably can sense that they're starting to lose the game. And generally when people sense they're starting to lose, they do kind of like all just sat stand in a bush together. Which is exactly what they did. <laughs> it's exactly what they did. I just thought we would have been fine, but my teammates weren't close enough, apparently. They can fight that, I'm pretty sure. Dude, these thresholds. Like, dude, they're 4v4 if you just went here. Team! You guys play so bad! Yasra was nowhere near. You could have fought that 4v4. Oh, I do not like this team. I just don't trust them is the problem. When you don't trust the people you're playing with, it's really hard to play. Uh, Diana got behind. Was that Diana? Yeah. The thing is that Diana build is like literally no damage. Awful build. Alright. Technically, they got Dragon, but it was a one for one and we still keep momentum. So keep momentum and like, we might even end up with more stuff eventually because i'm on my way now you kind of want zach to jump for it because he just died i hit that w I can really just into that. <sighs> combo. The Astro Diana combo, one of the most easy combos in the game to land. The, the easiest combo in the game to land. You Diana roll into Yasuo. Roll. Fun, fun, fun. Hale did not, unfortunately. That could have really screwed with them if she got her ultimate off at the right time. Which is a shame she did not. 
Is that game? Can they end? I don't think they can end. Like, they can probably kill all the towers, though, and then it's going to be a fight to see if we can stop them. We just end now. GG. We win. Who's up? Camille. Could Camille? I mean, Camille's going to try and backdoor. Yeah, there she is. Right. I was like, wait a minute. But she, so she was going to try and go backdoor. But Azir found her straight away. I don't know why Diana TP'd. I think she was, or oh, someone TP'd on a, a minion. They were trying to protect. Oh, we can't end, I don't think. Can we end? Maybe. They are gonna four of them are gonna spawn. Ah, we can end. GG. We win! Boom! That's wait, I'm diamond two, I think. Are we diamond two? I think we're diamond two. Yeah, I think Diana semi trolled that. If Diana just focused on auto attacking more, they might have just been able to end. But she stopped and you know teleport. What takes eight seconds? It's eight seconds of a not a Diana attacking a structure at the end of a game. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna give that to the Azir. I think he played fairly well. Yeah, about that. We're diamond two. Let's go. Cool. So we're on our way up, and what's well, what's annoying, and I will say, obviously, with the new system, if we lose the next game, we're demoted straight away. Because remember, the ranks are fluid nowadays, so there isn't like, oh, you go from 10 LP, you lose a game, where normally you'd lose 18 LP, um, but if, because you're on 10, you'd go to zero, and then you'd get demoted your next game. No. Inter, like, interdivisional, like, Diamond 4, 3, 2, 1, it's all fluid. Um, so if we lose the next game we'll just go down 18 lp so then we'll probably be diamond 3 92 lp it's a bit annoying it's technically better overall for mmr but yeah so we go 8 6 13 20.2k honestly the fact like so what i would say about this bell vest with crit it's strong and i did actually feel strong but it's a really slow start that's the thing it's a really slow start but Elveth is also supposed to be a hyperscaling champion anyway. Like, she's not supposed to have the best early game. She is supposed to be a hyperscaling AD carry kind of champion. So is that necessarily a bad thing that you have a really slow start? I don't think so. Obviously, you can see, like, the Zac was building Randuin because both me and Twitch were crit. But I kind of like it. Um, No, Bel so the Belveth's win rate on this build is 58.1%. Her standard win rate build is 53.4. So this is a much, you know, it's it's a smaller game game number, but it's a much higher win rate. Because again, crit is just busted, busted right now as it is. But yeah, it's got like, if you care about overall win rates and stuff, it's got a 5% more win rate than standard. But eh, I think I can see where this like, the thing with, if you just go standard Belveth and you go a Kraken into Blade of the Ruin King, you'll be much stronger earlier into the game. But... This also was quite fun. Also, that was my doorbell, but whatever. They'll just leave it. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, every every E that crits will apply uh, Young Tal. That's why it's so. That's it's a, such a good synergy. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. Bring down the dark regime